Professor Liu is going to introduce the two newer type, private and static variable, by using A4 assignment. So this assignment create a solution. We ask you to experiment a class level variable. Class ver level variable we call private, and procedural level variable static. But this procedural level variable will have the same uh, uh, power be able to retain the value. So this application asks user to enter cells among several times. When you do several times, you run several times. It's like it's like you use in several procedure. This program accumulate the total and display the total cells. Let me give you example first. Is that okay? So to further understand this, to further understand this, I have a program right here. Okay. Now I enter cells among, and if I click one time, it's one procedure. If I click two time, it's two procedure. Three time is three procedure. So do you remember I told you in the A three? Once you have more than one procedure, is using this, is using this variable, all right? Then it, it it has to be the class level. We did this one time. Remember, we did this uh at the input box. Do you remember that? Okay. So let me run this program for you to sh to show this. We when we did the input box project, that was a a private class, right? Exactly, we did a private. Remember, we do that. Oh, just a minute. Let me just. <clears throat> All right. So let me pull this one right now. It's okay. So. Uh, you have my user interface, UI. You have my backend, and this is the uh your program. When when the user is actually run this program, this is UI design, and this is you interface with user right now. This is design. This is backend. This is like interface with user right now. So, so would that be the front end? That's front end. Yes, cool, oh. cool. So now you want to think this front end is like a um uh, any device like a this will be a cashier in a uh, a small uh cashier cashier uh computer in the grocery store or any coffee shop something like that. You understand? So, so it's uh, the UI for the yeah mm, yeah the UI yeah then. You know, uh, hardware engineer. Once once you write the software, and the hardware engineer will burn into a chip and into the device. We do embedded device. Okay. Now, so for example, <clears throat> or uh, or if this program is window programming on the internet, you don't even need to burn anything. That's a program we create. Internet. We saw this quite a lot when you purchase anything in the Amazon. You purchase one item, two item, three items, then they will give you the total amount. For example, that's purchase right now. Okay, Javier, can you purchase one thing and give me your amount? Let me start it. I purchase one one thing right now. It's a hundred dollar. Okay, I click total. Amount. So this is one procedure right now. One procedure right now. All right. Now I am going to ask Javier. Can you purchase a second thing? I purchase one thing, one hundred Javier. Can you purchase second thing? Anybody? Uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Okay. Now, the value one hundred oh, and twenty. Oh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you see a difference in this? The value retain. The value retain. The reason is it's a global variable. It's a global variable. You understand? So, so it's not like the one before where like it would replace yeah, the label. It's yeah. adding it. To, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So Nathan, can you purchase third item? Any item right here? Eight hundred and eighty-eight. 
dollars. Wow. Oh, wow. You, you purchase a good stuff, okay? When you calculate, that becomes 1,008 right now. You understand that? So now, did you notice how many times I click this uh, calculate total cells? How many times? Three times. Is that right? Three times. Multiple times. And when I click it, because when you do at the dim level, at the dim level, when you click one time, the value reset to zero. You understand? Now, I want it to be be able to retain. I want it to be, be able to retain. Okay? So, I have to become a class level variable. Class level variable. Do you understand that? Yes or no? Now, yeah. did you remember I told you this? Do you remember this? Uh, so once this uh, 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 decimal total, I want to total retain, right? Uh, if the decimal total is, uh, you know, entire class level, entire application level variable, so it's open to everybody, every procedure. So security level is lower. I'm used, so only in this right now, I find out, I'm just going to use this uh, total only in this button, only the, in this button. I want to retain the value. So I can do another smarter way. Another smarter way is this. I'm going to use this, all right? But I am going to do this uh, here. I'm going to declare a local, but is a local uh, static variable. So it will return the value inside. It will return the value inside your uh, this procedure. So I'm going to call this static. All right, and I'm going to. Uh, still call it that small total, okay. Okay. All right. So I pull like this way right now. I pull like this way. So now it's not. It's not in the everybody notes. So the security is higher right now. Not only security is higher, the speed is faster because inside one, it's just inside this this procedure only. So now I am going to build it, rebuild it. Let me see why. So you change you change it from dim to static, right? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me okay. see why 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 they they give me that error. Okay, so I oh, 